Hey, what's up guys? Sam here with CustomPCReview.com and got another video for you guys today and today's video is going to be just a remake of something I've done before but hopefully this time is going to be uh, way better than what we did last time. Uh, anyways, the, the video I'm going to do uh, redo this time is actually going to be the mechanical switch sound comparison um, and I admit the one I did last time was a little bit flawed since I had my H1 recorder on the table and it was actually picking up a lot of table vibrations um, you know picking up a lot of echoes so today we're going to be doing a new video and hopefully it's going to be like a whole lot better anyways today's uh, video is going to feature the four most common Cherry MX type switches along with and ALP style uh, clicky switch as well. Um, the most common Cherry MX type switches, of course, we're going to have the uh, Cherry MX Red, uh, which is represented by the Corsair Vengeance K60. We're going to have the Cherry MX Black, represented by the ASIO Levitron Mech 5. We're going to have the Cherry MX Brown, represented by the Max Keyboard Nighthawk X8. And we're also going to have the Cherry MX Blue, represented by the CM Storm Quickfire Rapid. Um, the Alps switch is going to be represented by the ASIO Levitron Clicker. So as for the recording setup, we've got a Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone. It's sitting about 8 uh, approximately 8 to 10 inches off the table. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to shut up and uh, let's get started.
surfaces and all that. So it's great to see that Razer is pretty much implementing this new sensor system uh, across the board. Um, of course, we also got to check out the lighting. It's got this nice green lighting uh, that's pretty typical of a lot of Razer mice. Um, you've got a nice solid green up top and then you've got a uh, breathing razor logo at the the bottom of the mouse so um, very very nice looking mouse and uh, definitely excited to review it